Hi, my name is Kang, and I'm an applications engineer in the gauging product line at Texas Instruments. Today, I will be unboxing the BQ27 421-G1 EVM. This is an impedance track gas gauge with an integrated sense resistor in a small CSP package. This board comes in two flavors, the Rev A and the Rev B. For the sake of this demonstration, I am using a Rev A board, but the boards are the same, just the pre-programmed memory contents are different. Please refer to the TRM for more details. In this box, you will find a plastic ESD bag containing the board and the I2C cable. Here's the I2C cable and the board. The other thing you will need to evaluate any gauge EVM is to purchase an EV23 or 2400. The EV23 or 2400 boards communicate with the computer to any of our gauge EVMs that use I2C, HDQ, or SM bus. The EV2400 requires no drivers to be installed, and it will be a lot easier to work with. Please visit the eStore to purchase the EV23 or 2400. Today, we will be using the EV2400. Now, I will show you how to connect the board and perform a basic charge and discharge. To begin, let's start by connecting our battery to the PAC plus and PAC minus terminals of the J5 connector box. Something unique to the BQ27421 is that it has a bin pin. The bin pin is meant for battery detection in the system. For the sake of this demonstration, I will hook up a 10 kilo ohm resistor from the bin pin to pack minus. For other methods of battery detection, please see the technical reference manual. The board should now be powered on and has detected a battery. Now, let's plug in one end of the I2C cable to the J10 connector and the other end to the EV2400 box. Plug in the EV2400 box to the PC with the USB cable provided. We can now start the BQ Studio evaluation software in order to read the memory contents of the board. For first time configuration, we will access the Q&A plugin in BQ Studio. We will answer the questions in the basic configuration tab. Once this is done, we hit save to gauge to get the parameters updated. The BQ27421 is a ROM gas gauge. All memory contents are stored in RAM. If it loses power, you will have to reconfigure the memory. You can read the ITPOR bit in the flags register to detect the loss of power. For all battery experiments, it is crucial to log the voltage, current, and temperature information as the battery is cycling. We can do this with BQ Studio from the registers tab. Please click start log to create a new log. The registers in the gas gauge register tab are now all logged to a CSV file. Today, I will be using the source meter to charge and discharge the battery. The source meter is capable of charging and discharging a load. I have it set up to discharge the battery. I will now hook up the positive and negative ends to the charger load terminal of the EVM. The battery is now discharging at the applied load. From BQ Studio, we can see that the average current register is reporting the discharge current. 
We now remove the load. We will now apply a charge current. We see that the average current tab in BQ Studio reports the charge current applied. Before we go, we would like to point out one key note when doing experiments with the BQ27421 device. It is imperative to keep the board close to the battery surface. The battery will heat up considerably when high currents are being drawn. The on die temp sensor needs to use this data to accurately gas gauge. For typical experiments, we put the board on top of the battery surface, and sometimes we put the battery plus board into a thermal box to simulate an enclosed device. Thanks for watching. Look for the next video in the unboxing video series. Thank you.